So in this video, we're going to spend a little bit of time messing around with and talking about uh, importing and exporting packages with Node. Um, so we had kind of mentioned uh, at the very beginning, and we've done it a few times, this method of requiring something. Uh, but I think first we should start off uh, with the other side of that. So with how to um, export something so that it may be required. So I'm going to go ahead, this is kind of the same example we've been working with. I'm going to delete this index.txt because we don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to have index.js. I'm going to go ahead and empty that for now. And I'm going to make another new file and call it uh, add.js. So what we want to do here, I always find it easier to consume a library before you build it, kind of like a test-driven development style. So we want to do something like const add. Uh, equals require add, right? Um, I think we'll actually have to, since it's not a global package, do it like that. And then we'll want to do a console.log add, and we'll pass it, you know, two numbers, two and five, something like that. And what we want that to do is we want it to console log seven. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice if we go here and we run node on index.js, it's like, oh, add is not a function. So it doesn't. Uh, puke on the require because add.js does exist. It's just not getting anything from it. So if we were to console.log add here and run it again, um, you know, similarly, it's just this empty object, basically. And so how we fill that is with module.exports. Um, and so what we can have here is something like module.exports, and then we can set it to something. So let's set it to a function. And we'll call that function add. And that function takes uh, a number and another number. And you guessed it, it returns 1 plus 2. So what we've got going on here is this kind of module exports is this magic going on, right? It's like communicating with nodes saying, I want you to export this stuff. Um, and what we're exporting is a function. It doesn't need to be named here, but I'm going to let it. Um, and it does what we're looking for. So now if we go back again, and run node again, uh, we see two different things. One is this console log, it's a function, that's what we want. And two is the desired result, seven. So this is kind of how you go back and forth between things, right? You can require it like this, and you can export. And the exports pass to requires, all sorts of stuff like that. So one thing that you'll often see is you'll often see um, <clears throat> like a library, like a route package or something like that, and it'll have like, you know, function one, and then it'll have like a couple of these, right? So it'll have like function two and function three. So here we get into some kind of stylistic stuff. So like uh, one thing you could do is you could take all of these and you could module exports an object. Uh, and then you could move all of these functions as like keys inside the object, right? So you could have like one is this function. <clears throat> two is this function, and three is this function. So hopefully this makes sense. So now we have a module export that actually exports a bunch of different functions. And so we can go inside of kind of all of them and console log and do that. And we can do like one, two, and three. So now we've got something a little bit different going on. When we require add, uh, and let's comment this out and just console.log add for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and clear and then run this in node. Um, oops, right. Since it's multiple objects, got to do that kind of thing. Cool. So now I'm getting back an object, the curly brace, with three different functions in it one, two, and three. So the syntax for using it is going to be a little different too, right? So if we wanted to print out two, we would now have to do add dot two, right, as a function. Um, and now if I go ahead and run this, we can see that two prints out. So <clears throat> that's another way you can do it. So you can do, you know, module dot exports equals a function. You can do module export equals an object. You can do an object with functions inside of it. Uh, all sorts of cool things like that. The last way that I wanted to talk about you might see sometimes is um, sometimes people will just like declare like, you know, function uh, one 
and then they'll do you know console.log one and then later in the code they'll have function two and then they'll have console.log two and then at the very end you can do module.exports um, I remember the syntax for this here it gets module.exports equals I do not remember how to do this one, two. okay cool um, so, so you can do it this way as well and I think the last way um, so here again it's just an it's just the same thing really it's just um, exporting an object with these functions inside it one last way that you can do it is with uh, exports dot before each one so you could do something like uh, instead of function uh, declaration like this we could do um, Uh, function expressions uh, with an equal sign so we could do something like uh, let's see exports dot one equals a function um, oops and then we could do exports dot two equals a function uh, and then this will just take care of it right there so we can just export those things like that so basically the only reason I wanted to cover this is because as you're out in the wild checking out a bunch of different libraries, um, you'll probably see all of these styles used. And I just kind of wanted you to know that they're all the same thing. Basically, files that are meant to be consumed need to module export something. That can be a function, it can be an array, it can be an object, any kind of JavaScript data type. Um, but JavaScript being such a flexible language, it gives you a bunch of different ways to do kind of the same thing, like exporting a few different functions. Cool. I hope that helps. Uh, in the last video, I'm going to kind of put it all together and start using some third-party modules with all the stuff that we've been learning.